42 years ago, I was serving as a missionary in Finland for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. On the bus stops, I noticed these movie posters. One was a guy with his hand up pointing in the air like this. The other was one I didn't understand. It was called Star Wars, which was probably the greatest movie series about family history ever made, and I'll explain why. Together, my family and I created a TV pilot called Kin, which you can preview on KinTV.com. It is a reality show about families stepping into the virtual world of their ancestors by starring in a legacy film about their past. We all have compelling stories to tell. Share with us at KinTV.com what's your movie about. I want to introduce you to McKay Hatch, who is an aficionado on Star Wars, who was born after the fact. He wasn't even born during the era of the first episodes that were released in 1977. I've grown up on Star Wars. I love these movies. I love this franchise. Why? Why do people love it? I mean, we're talking little kids still are, are new fans of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of reasons, but I think um, that that might be the answer right there. I think there's probably something for everybody, or there's just a lot uh, of things a lot of people have been able to get out of these movies. There's just a big old universe to explore here, I think. It wasn't until the second episode that we got to know about the family, the Skywalker family, and it was at this time, at the end of the movie, that they revealed something that everybody was in a gasp, and they were just like, Oh my gosh, I can't wait till the next one because they left one of the biggest cliffhangers in film history. What um, was it? And we're, we're talking about one of the biggest plot, uh, the plot twists in cinema history, but uh, this is the infamous scene where uh, Darth Vader says to Luke Skywalker, No, I am your father. And he reveals his true identity to his son. I am your father. So that's what we're going to explore. What about this family tree? of the Skywalkers. Everything unfolds little by little in this uh, saga of the Skywalkers. So mm -hmm. let's start from the beginning. It wasn't until which movie do we find out more about who they are? Well, uh, it all starts off in episode one with a uh, slave boy named Anakin and his mother, Shumi Skywalker. So it was the fourth film released, right? Yes, and uh, they officially uh, christened it Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. This was the uh, chronological beginning of the story. She's a single mom. How come? Uh, kind of a mystery still at this point, but um, uh, a lot of people think it was probably the force that uh, uh, wanted Anakin to be born and essentially helped her become pregnant and she gave birth to him eventually. So the force was the father? I guess you could say that, but uh, essentially there really was no father. She uh, gave birth to him on her own. So she's the uh, mother of the Skywalkers. Mm -hmm. so that's where it all kind of started with the uh, family tree, if you will. Wow. Okay. So is that where it ends, or where does it go from there? Oh no, we have about, uh, I don't know, maybe a 30, 40 more years to go. There's a long history here. So Anakin um, decides to leave with a Jedi Knight named Qui-Gon Jinn and he uh, decides to become a Jedi. And we get to episode two, Attack of the Clones, where uh, we find him about 10 years later. He's mm -hmm. 19 at this point and he's training to be a Jedi. He's a Jedi Padawan. He wasn't born into being a Jedi. You were selected based on kind of the instincts you had and so forth? Yeah, your, uh, your force sensitivity, if you will. There are people in the Star Wars universe that are more force sensitive than others and the most force sensitive beings are uh, chosen as Jedi usually. And he was kind of one of the chosen that Jedi era. Exactly. There's an interesting part of this and that is a Jedi is not supposed to be married, yep. right? Yep. Celibate. Yep. Kind That's of like a Catholic priest. Yeah, it's part of their religion. and. Uh, it was during this time that uh, um, Anakin met his uh, future wife, Padme Skywalker. He, as he describes it, fell in love with her instantly. He thought she was the most beautiful woman he'd ever seen. And uh, this all happened in episode one, and they again uh, crossed paths in episode two. They were in love, then what happened? 
Well, they uh, eventually decided to get uh, married in secret, actually. And uh, this happened on Padme's home planet of uh, Naboo. Wow. In order for the family to continue, you know, you got to have kids. What happened to Anakin Skywalker? Well, um, a few years passed, and at this time, the Clone Wars had started. And uh, he has now become the greatest star pilot in the galaxy, and he's become a very powerful Jedi Knight. He's really blossomed during that time. He's become a very, uh, very celebrated hero of the Republic during the Cold Wars. Did it get to his head a little bit? Probably a little bit. Uh, definitely, uh, I think he was enjoying maybe the limelight a little bit, but he always, he, he always uh, kept a good heart. And it was uh, during this time that he actually uh, started to have visions of uh, Padme dying in childbirth. And so, um, what did he do to uh, keep that love alive? Well, essentially, he decided to do anything uh, possible or anything necessary, and unfortunately, he decided to turn to the uh, dark side of the Force, and he became a Sith Lord known as uh, Darth Vader. This guy, yep. right here. Huh? Yep. Uh, became very powerful in the uh, dark side of the force, became uh, a very evil being eventually. It was a really sad fall. Was that because he uh, married in secret and did all these things in secret, plus things got to his head, he was successful? And I think it was mostly he really just wanted to save his uh, wife. He loved her and he uh, didn't want to lose her. and. Essentially, he was uh, seduced or uh, tricked into thinking this was the only way possible to save her. Okay. Padme gave birth to their uh, twin children, Luke and Leia. Wow. Now, Luke and Leia, in the first episode, we thought they were going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. There was kind of that, uh, I don't know, it was, it was kind of like a Star Wars rom-com going on a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Uh, very much a love triangle being set up there. Yeah. And uh, we thought the other side of it would be Han Solo, right? Mm -hmm. yep. And they were competing for the hand of uh, Princess Leia. Yep. And uh, speaking of Han Solo, it was about uh, 19 years later after they were both born and uh, Anakin had become Darth Vader, they uh, met this uh, space smuggler, if you will, or space pirate. And um, eventually, a few years later, Han and Leia fell in love. Do you think George Lucas knew the family line, what this family tree was going to be? No, actually, uh, he's been officially quoted as saying that uh, Luke and Leia weren't going to be twins at first. Uh, the story progressed and the family tree got bigger as uh, George came up with new ideas. Pretty cool, though, because once he made that family connection in the second episode, or, you know, the second film, there was that connection to family, like, wait, Luke is related to the bad side, yep. and that was a big cliffhanger, and so we didn't get to know the rest of the story much, mm -hmm. although we did see the love interest between Leia and Han Solo increase, but we didn't know what happened after that, did we? Yeah, and well, actually, we do know a little bit. They uh, eventually got married, and they actually had their uh, own son, and uh, they named him uh, Ben Solo, and he eventually... Uh, also turned to the dark side and became known as uh, Kylo Ren. Wow, so even harder about this particular part is that he went so evil, what happened? What did he do to Han Solo? Well, he ended up uh, killing his own father. But this is one of the greatest, uh, not one of the greatest families, I would say, but one of the families followed by more people than anybody the uh, Skywalker family. Do we know about Rey? This character Rey, who is introduced in the last two films, mm -hmm. um, is she related? Is she a Skywalker? Uh, that's the interesting thing. We uh, we still don't know. We uh, we found out in the Last Jedi that uh, you know she she was essentially a nobody and she didn't really have a relation to anybody in the story. But uh, for all we know, that could have been uh, Kylo Ren trying to ma manipulate her or uh, get her to join him. So it's kind of a she doesn't know her parents, so that's still yet to be. But is there a chance that the Skywalker family stops right there? Uh, no, not necessarily. I mean, uh, they could continue on. It's uh, it remains to be seen, and you know, for all we know, Ray 
could turn out to be a Skywalker. It's, uh, I guess time will tell. But it's these connections that we all relate to because of family that Star Wars is so successful. Other genres haven't made that family connection like Star Wars did. And I think that was a, um, a genius uh, twist to the whole story that just, uh, I don't know, just embedded in ourselves how much we love Star Wars, <laughs> didn't it? Well, yeah, and I think that may have, again, been one of the biggest draws for a lot of people, the, uh, the familial connections. It was really familiar to a lot of us because we all have our uh, own families in one way or another, and um, I think there's uh, something to be said about, um, you know, we know this, we know this family tree and this family history so well, but uh, there's something to be said about uh, learning more about your own family trees and your own family history to connect yourself a little more with them. That's all we need to do. We need to continue to know more about our own family. Um, this is four generations right here. Mm -hmm. If you could just understand your four generations, that'll take you a long way, where they came from and what they struggled with. Many migrated, immigrated, came from different nationalities and backgrounds and intermarried and so forth, kind of like what happened here. And, but the great thing about family, it's our family and it's our stories. And one of the greatest movie series ever made saw the beauty of family. And I say, as I always do, we all have a story to tell. Mm -hmm. We all have our own movie to tell. Yeah. And we'd like to tell your movie someday. So thanks for joining us, uh, McKay. Yeah, I think this was great, um, great experience to uh, see that family is very important and kind of follow the family tree of Star Wars. And remember to subscribe and, and remember, we're going to release, little by little, the Kin TV pilot. We did a long version that was 40 plus minutes long for a longer format. We were told to make it into 30 minutes, but You'll get to see the backstory of that and what we did and how it can relate to you and how your family could make a movie about um, your legacy story as well. So thanks, McKay, for being with us. Happy to be here. Thanks, guys. May the force be with you. May the force be with you.